Have you ever baked cookies with baking soda or squeezed some lemon juice onto a piece of fish? If so, you've done acid-base chemistry, a key component of the chemistry that we use every day in the kitchen. This video is going to explain why we often serve fish with lemons from an understanding of acid-base chemistry. There are many definitions of acids and bases, but one of the most common is the Bronsted-Lowry definition. An acid is a compound that donates a proton, or a positively charged hydrogen ion, in solution. Acids often taste sour and include vinegar, or acetic acid, pictured here. A base, on the other hand, is a compound that can accept a proton from an acid in solution. Bases include compounds like baking soda, soap, and methylamine, a weak base found in fish, which is pictured here. A base has an atom that can accept a proton from an acid, so when it reacts with an acid, the acid will donate one of its protons to the base. Notice that because the base only accepts a proton or a hydrogen ion with no electrons, the nitrogen now has four bonds and a positive charge. So let's take a closer look at what happens in an acid-base reaction and review some of the terminology that's often used with Bronsted-Lowry theory. So when an acid or a proton donor reacts with a base which wants to accept that proton, the reaction will reach a new equilibrium. The compound that was a base will gain a proton and now become its conjugate acid. It will have a proton that it is able to donate. The compound that was an acid will lose a proton and become its conjugate base. For this reason, we say we have two conjugate acid and base pairs that differ only in that one has a proton and one lacks it. In order to understand how we use acids and bases in the kitchen, it's important to be able to distinguish between two categories of acids, strong acids, which we would not want to use in the kitchen, and weak acids. There are six strong acids that you should memorize listed here. All of these strong acids will dissociate 100% in water, meaning they will donate all of their protons. All other acids besides these six can be treated as weak acids, for example, acetic acid or vinegar pictured here. Weak acids will reach equilibrium far before they've donated all of their protons. For that reason, you will need to do equilibrium calculations with weak acids and weak bases and draw the double-headed arrow rather than the single-headed arrow to show their dissociation. What does this all have to do with fish? Well, fish contain a weak base called methylamine, which is volatile or evaporates easily and exists in the gas form at room temperature. When you walk by the fish market on a hot summer day and you smell that pungent fishy smell, that's coming from those methylamine molecules in the gas form hitting the chemoreceptors in your nose. Lemons, on the other hand, contain a weak acid called citric acid. Citric acid is a polyprotic acid, which is able to donate more than one proton in solution, in fact, up to three. In this video, we're only going to focus on one of the protons that citric acid donates, but if you want to learn more about polyprotic acids, you can watch our video on pKa. When you squirt lemon juice onto fish, the weak acid in lemon juice, citric acid, will combine with the weak base in fish, methylamine, in an acid-base reaction, and they will both reach a new equilibrium. Although both citric acid and methylamine are characterized as weak, citric acid is a stronger acid than methylamine is a base. Because of this, at equilibrium, nearly all the methylamine will be protonated and exist in its conjugate acid form. This reaction is the reason that you squeeze lemon juice onto fish. When methylamine becomes its conjugate acid, the methylammonium cation, it exists mostly in the liquid rather than the gas form. This means it is much, much harder to smell. Acid-base reactions are extremely important in general chemistry, organic chemistry, and, as I hope you've learned, the chemistry of cooking. Next time you're sitting down at a restaurant and about to squeeze some lemon onto a delicious piece of fish, I hope you take a moment to recognize the wonderful acid-base chemistry that's going into the delicious product you're about to eat. Bon appetit!